Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different uh, regarding my Baja 5T. Uh, last weekend, running it at a mate's place and got it home, looking over it, seeing, you know, the body's looking a bit ratty, you know, a few scratches, a few nicks, a couple of creases, you know, stuff like that. I'm thinking to myself, need to give it a facelift. Failing going and buying a brand new body, uh, considering they're pretty expensive, I thought, well, you know, the stickers already look a bit ordinary. Um, so I thought, stuff it. Rip all the stickers off, and I thought I'll get my airbrush out, start doing a bit of flame work down the side, sort of tying with what's on the bonnet already. So I've got a, uh, a bit of a demo for you to show you how I went about it. And, um, by any means, I'm no professional airbrush artist, so I gave it a go. Uh, I have done on a couple of things, seems to be working okay, but it's all practice, you know, the more you do it, it's like anything, the better you get, you know. So here's a, uh, a short demo, and um, when we come back, I'll show you the finished product, see what you think. So check it out. So here we are, I'm just gonna try and make the body of me 5T look a bit pretty. Um, if you can see on the front here, earlier on, I did some uh, some flame work, flame, like true fire or flame jobs, you want to call it, on the front. So what I'm going to try and do is duplicate that down the side. So I'm not going to do too much talking because we're we're running out of daylight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some of that across the side here. Now I have a couple of stencils which I'm going to use. So whether I use the both or just the one. Let's, we'll see how we go. All right, so. So there's no, there's no real rhythm to flame jobs. It's just have a crack and see what, see what it turns out like. So what I'm gonna try and do, where I've got some of the licks on the guard, I'm gonna try and blend that bring it down into the side, but I'm not gonna go too busy on the side, I just wanna cover up, you can see some blemishes on the body. Well, I've already removed the stickers, so here we go. And you're just dusting it on, so you get a bit of a, a, bit of a pattern like that there. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be even, you just do, just do whatever you feel. There's no, there's no wrong and right way of doing it. I'm just gonna try and do the main, the main body of the flame through here. It's probably a bit hard to see because of the shadow guys, sorry about that, but I wanna get this sort of sharpened out. So, and you can come back in and you can do like your little, um, if I go back this way, I might try something different here. Every flame has two sides, so you can just see how you got, yeah, you're starting to show now, you got two sides, okay? So here I can probably come back in with a nice little one and just put a little kick just in here. I might go with that one actually. And you're starting to starting to shape. And you just keep going, you just keep filling in. You can even make them twist over one another if you like. You can see where it's twisting over, that one's, you can just, sorry but my hands are shaking about this guys, it's just buddy, trying to do this before our buddy, before we run out of light. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna, Backfill that, then I can come up here and I can put a little lick up there, and I'll try and tie that if I can into there. Now what I want it to do is I want to try and make it look at the flames like they're going back this way. So 
What's it doing it? See it's starting to form a bit of a shape. So you can come back in here. You can do little things like this. Just sharpen some bits up. And up here, I'll just carry this one on. You can see a bit of ordinary looking parts on the body there. And you can just, you can actually Finish off like that. A bit tricky trying to do it without getting my arms in the way. You can just overlap these two. Just, just fogging it in. And with things like that, you can actually. Uh, I might use one of these other ones. Here. Got the shakes bad today. Yeah, I need another one coming through up, from up here, I think. And you're just fogging it in like that. Nothing too drastic. And you can see how things are starting to overlap now. Now, what I've got this big opening here, <clears throat> I can actually come in and I can do a reverse to the sucker there and do something like that. You can use your little curves or whatever you want to use and give yourself a little Whoops, smoke that back in a bit. And you could even do this. Sorry, bring that arm in the way. Even if I go like that. You can see it's starting to. So you got you can see flame coming through here, and it looks like there's multi layers there. But what I'll do, I'll just end it there, and um, <clears throat> I'll continue this. I'll continue this on because this this is a long drawn out process. So um, I'll end here. The, the next time we start the camera. Uh, I'll give you a look at the finished product for both sides. So I'll be doing the reverse for this one on the other side. Um, now that they, they don't have, you don't have to try and make them exactly the same because it, if you actually look at a fire and look at the way the flames and the licks go, they don't, they're not actually the same. So I'll um, I'll leave the video at that and I'll keep going. And the next time you see me, we'll be talking about the finished product. See you then. We're back. Surprise for you, finished product of the 5T. Uh, we'll give you a look at it, see what you think. Um, I think it's not too bad, but I'm biased, okay? Let's have a look. There she is, blue flames. Now, all this on the top was already here. It's just got a, diff a darker tint over it, so it's a bit 
darker blue, which is like a, uh, a transparent color. Where the, where the changes are, the top, the uh, Punisher skull on the top was also already there. It's just had the darker, darker tint or transparent color, whatever you want to call it, put out the top of it. So as it ties in, it was only a matter of fact, I mean, I thought the bl this darker blue would look better than the lighter blue that was on the front, plus I didn't have enough of the lighter blue that was on the front to do the whole job anyway, so. I'll spin around, give you a look at the side. Might be a bit hard to see, it is a bit dark, but, but there's, there's the flames. So like, when you get a look at them, you can see how it looks like there's multi layers. I mean, it's, it's, you can do one layer, like you know, however you wanna have it, and then come back through and just overlap, overlap your flames. Like there's no, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's however you feel like doing it. Give it a, you know, give it a few practice runs, you know, and it could come out pretty good. So what I've tried to do is I've tried to tie in with on the front guards, down on the side, and this is where all the bloody HPI stickers used to be up here. Now the body has got, you know, some marks in it and there's been some paint flake off from it from in the back on the inside. So this is all done on the outside. And all I did was I um, done all the flames in white. Uh, you can do it in, in other colors or whatever, but I chose to do it white and then put the blue transparent color over top once you're done. So I tried to get some nice flow back through, basically, you know, hiding the, the unwantedness, if you want to call it that, through the side of the body. So I'll flick it round, give you a look at the other side. Now, I don't know whether it might be better in that light there, maybe. Uh, it's a bit dark, it is hard to see, but I should have done this out in the sunlight earlier in the day, but as you can, as you can see there, flames coming back through. Um, not too bad, actually. And, you know, those sort of things can be done with your airbrush, do a bit of practice, you know. Like I, like I said a bit earlier, I have done on a few things. I've practiced, I've practiced on uh, rubbish bins and buckets and you know, I got a, a full size bloody off-road buggy that I actually did some skull and crossbones with some flames. But, um, you know, the more, like I said before, the more you do it, the better you get. So, you know, all in all, like, I mean, the body is, it's an RC truck, you know, it's gonna get bashed around. So it's not totally there yet. So I thought, well, why not dress it up? Give it a bit of a look, you know, make it look unique, make it your own. Like all the HPI stickers that was on it, it's the same as anyone else buying a, you know, a, a HPI Baja 5T. They all look the same, except whatever, there's a couple of different colors. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a look at that, see what you reckon about it. I mean, it doesn't turn out too bad. Like, one day I'll get, another, I'll get a new body for it, and I'll probably put the similar sort of style on it, but you do it on, when you get a brand new body, when they, if you get them clear, you do all this stuff in reverse because it's on, you do it on the inside of the body instead of on the outside. Um, only reason, like I said before, I did it on the outside is because it's already painted and the body was starting to get a bit ratty looking, so you put it on the outside. Now, I haven't put any clear over that yet, so I don't know if I will. I'll see what happens. Uh, put some clear over it, we'll make it a lot glossier, but then, like I said, it is a bash truck. You'd be too scared to scratch it, if you know what I mean. Now, this took, to do both sides, um, probably approximately an hour each side, uh, just going steady, whatever, and then put the tin over the top. So, um, other than that, like it's, you know, it's ready to go again. So, just a different video I thought I'd put out there. Um, something different, like I don't get to play around with the airbrush all that much. Uh, I'm no professional, as I said earlier in this, earlier in this video. So, but it's, if you want to have a go at it, I mean, there's you can, heaps of airbrushes out there. There's some dear ones, there's some, there's some cheaper ones. You can also do this sort of work with, with the cheaper ones. Um, get, give it a go. There's a lot of tutorials online, you know. Get on, on, on this space, YouTube, and look it up, airbrushing. And there's a lot of RC airbrushing tutorials on there. There's some guys that get on there, and they're really, they're really, really clever with how they do it all, how they do. They do in, insides and outsides, and they're really, really good. Uh, that's how I 
got started, uh, kept watching, you know, all that sort of stuff. Flame jobs, all, I mean, I'm a big flames, flames and skulls, that sort of stuff. So I thought, you know, I'll give it a go. That's how I started. So it's all practice. I mean, by, by all means, I'm, I'm not perfect, but <clears throat> there's a lot of guys out there that do some really, really nice work. Um, check them out if you're interested. And um, the old girl, she's ready to go again. So I thought that'd be a little bit interesting, something different out of running RCs and, you know, all that sort of stuff. There is a lot of guys out there on, on YouTube that do very similar sort of stuff to what I've just done. It was just my take on it, you know, so. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. And like I always say, guys, get your RCs, have some fun. Get outside, get out of the house. Go and have some fun out in, out in the bush, out in the mud. And uh, stay tuned, I've got some more coming. I've got some other parts coming, so, for this other little buggy build. But um, until next time, get that, get out guys, have some fun, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you then.